All right, today we're gonna learn some Go. Every time I stream myself writing Golang over at twitch.tv slash Melky, I get a bunch of questions from new people or people going to Golang asking, what resources should I learn? What's the best course you can recommend? Melky, how did you learn Golang? And today I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on how I would learn Go if I were to start over. These are some great resources I'd recommend and these are the ones I did when I first started learning Go. The first ones has to be a tour of Go. Everyone should recommend this as the very first thing you go if you want to learn Go. It goes through basics. It goes through maybe some more intermediate and touches on advanced subjects and topics of the programming language. You can see here, you have an interactive editor here. Package main tells you the format of a Go file. You can click run here and there you go. Hello. It gives you everything you need with nice explanations of how to use. You can choose your language. You can go offline, whatever. You can start with package variables and functions, flow control statements for if else. You can see here, it gives you a great description of everything with some code to go with it. And you can continue and go through all the modules, all the chapters. I love it because it gives you snippets, which are easy to digest, a nice piece of code that goes with it, which you can really wrap your head around behind the concept and the practical application and how it impacts your editing. There's about seven different modules here in Tour of Go. I highly recommend them if you've never touched them. Another one I highly recommend is Go by Example. Go by Example is, as it says, a hands-on introduction to Go using annotated example programs. Check out the first example or the or browse the full list below. Now, this list is a lot. There's quite a bit here. If you have the time and you want to get serious about Go, start from the beginning and go through each example. You can see here, it follows the very similar format of Tour of Go. Not going to take you a lot of time, especially the beginning ones. If you are already a programmer, you've programmed before, this will all be easy for you. It's introducing yourself to the syntax, how to create for loops, the concept of a while loop in Go, and then it dives deeper into more advanced topics and very particular Go topics like structs, interfaces, concurrency patterns, how generics works in Go. All of that is described here for in Go by example. I highly recommend it. Even in the defer function gives you more description, breaks it down to how everything's written and how the code is executed. All right, so you may be thinking to yourself, well, I've done the tours and the world and the whatever by Go. I need something more, Melky. Give me something better. If you are serious about Go and you've learned the syntax to degree and you can execute a main.go file, this is your next stop. This is called effective Go. This giant mono repo of a blog post was written in 2009 by the core Golang team and it covers literally everything there is to cover in Go. The purpose of Effective Go isn't to teach you the concepts of for loop, else statements, or even concurrency. Effective Go tries to teach you how to think like a Golang developer and really adopt the patterns the Golang core team want to implement through this logic. It explains different control structures and gives you an example. In Go, this blog post really goes goes in depth with some of the concepts that those previous examples only touch on. For example, defer. Goes the first statement schedule a function called deferred function to be run immediately before the function executing the defer returns. It's an unusual but effective way to deal with situations such as resources that must be released regardless of which path a function takes to return. And it gives you an example here and it goes more in depth with some situational and style choice they can go with the defer function. It also talks about data and how structs really encompass the data pattern of Golang and how structs could be used, how to run methods off of structs. This whole article goes into depth, but a really, really good snippet of this blog post is where it talks about concurrency. Concurrent programming is a large topic and there is space only for some Go specific highlights here. Only one Go routine has access to the value at any given time. Data races cannot occur by design. To encourage this way of thinking, we have reduced it to a slogan, do not communicate by sharing memory, instead share memory by communicating, which really highlights how how this article and blog post should be used. All these different components that may not be unique to Golang, but the way they wanna be utilized by the Go core team is very much highlighted here. And I really recommend Read Effective Go. Another good resource to learn Go is to subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your support, but I always post Golang content, Golang tutorials, different ideas, different packages talking about Golang. So if you consider, it means a lot to me. All right, now, if you're interested in textbooks, I recommend to actually build applications 
applications. There's two that come to mind and they're both by Alex Edwards and they're actually both part of the same series. The first one is called Let's Go. Learn to build professional web applications with Go. And there's Let's Go Further. Advanced patterns for building APIs and web applications in Go. If anyone has done and read these textbooks, they will only say good things about them. This was one of the core textbooks I've read to really help me understand how Go is used. The principle to Alex Edwards here highlights are phenomenal and they're just really, really good to go through. They're big, you know, it's a textbook. There's lots of pages. I think Let's Go Further is almost 500 pages, but they are so worth if you break down every module, kind of tackle it down. These are, you know, recommendations one and two for textbooks when it comes to Go and building web applications, APIs, middlewares, area handling, all of that. These are the great resources for you. Another really good way to learn Golang is to listen by the talks from one of the creators and founders of the programming language, Rob Pike. See, I really like Rob and I really like his presentation skills and have an example here from Google IO 2012. So this is almost, this is 11 years old where he talks about Go concurrency patterns. These talks that Rob does are phenomenal. They're great tidbits of information. And you may be thinking, well, 11 years old, this must be outdated. A same with effective Go. These must be outdated resources. They're not because Go doesn't move that fast. Sure, there's small ifs and gotchas between, you know, a blog post from 2009 and how Go 1.22 looks like, sure. But all in all, the main points, the main concepts that these resources teach stay true. And I think these are some of the best resources to learn if you want to be a good Golang developer. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did I miss one? Did you think there should be one that could be added? Let me know. And as always, you gotta power it.